Hello, and welcome to Electrofox. Today I'm going to be showing you something relatively new compared to what I've showed you before. This is a 2007 white MacBook. It is a regular MacBook, not a MacBook Pro. So, on the left side of the machine we have a Kensington lock. We have a headphone jack. An audio in. Two USB 2.0 ports. One Firewire 400 port, a mini DVI port, a gigabit Ethernet port, and the MagSafe connector port. On the right side of the machine we have a CD DVD slot which can also record and play. They call these super drive slots. This is the bottom of the machine. This is the battery compartment and the unlocking function to unlock the battery compartment from its housing. And that is the battery indicator. As you can see, it indicates a full charge. On the back of the machine, you have the air intake and where the hot air comes out. This is to help cool the machine. The hot air exits underneath the right here. Now I'm going to turn it on. Might take a moment here. Now we have the desktop layout. This particular computer can't really run the latest operating system, so this is running Lion. But I'm going to click up here, because this is how, this is like the uh, start menu, the uh, Apple's equivalent of the start menu right here, so I'm going to show you about this Mac. And these are the specs. It's got a 2.16 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo with 2 GB of memory. On Apple computers running Mac OS X, you have the dock down here. You can see a lot of things on the dock. Finder is where your information and files are stored. Then we have various other components. This is a cool thing called Mission Control. So what you can do here is you can put multiple stuff running at the same time. And this makes a really cool, really cool set here. And as you can see the uh, various things that you can have set up here, like the time and calendar calculator and uh, the course the weather. This is an app store right over here and this is where you get many of your applications. In this case it's showing right now OS 10 El Capitan but unfortunately this device cannot get that operating system. Over here we have FaceTime this is a lot like Apple's version of Skype. Um, you can FaceTime anybody who has an Apple device that accepts FaceTime. This is the Safari web browser. And there is a picture of the new iPhones. And the new iPad. Now I'm going to show you, this is iTunes, it allows you to purchase music, podcasts, TV shows, movies, books, and other things. So that's their store. This is the photo booth, it allows you to take pictures with the camera up here, and you can also have filters for those pictures, which is really cool. 
This is system preferences. It's a lot like the set. It's basically the settings. And here are a lot of the things that are on it. I'm not going to go over everything, but I'm going to highlight certain things like the flash player, which allows you to view videos on the internet and videos internally on the device. And as you can see, these are documents and downloads. Here's trash. And trash for Windows users is a lot like the recycle bin. So when you want to delete things. And if you look up here, this is the some of the things up at the top here like file, edit, view, window, and things like that. Now these will change depending upon the software you're using, which I think is kind of unique. And over here you have various other icons like Bluetooth and the icon to show that I'm hooked to Wi-Fi. And when I did this video, This is one of the screensavers that you'll find on this particular MacBook. This is the Apple logo in the back of the laptop. And as you can see, it glows. And now I'm going to show you the eject function. Thank you so much for watching this look at the 2007 MacBook White. It's made out of a polycarbonate plastic which is a very very durable plastic. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to shut down. And when you shut down it'll give you a certain amount of time before it automatically shuts down and so I'm going to click shut down.